Sorry, I'm sorry. My, my mistake. Professor Frank Scalari. Professor Frank Scalari. I keep He's forgetting loose that. With a roundhouse to Carino's head. Scoops and slams him down. Big Lance body him. slam. Now here he goes. See, he goes for the crowd. It looks like he wants to, uh, yeah, it looks like he wants to go up on one of the ring ropes. One of the turnbuckles, I should say. One, two, he wants to go up, I think, to the top one. Giving Justin too much time, though. And Justin just ah! hits that top rope. And Frank Scalari is crotched on that top rope now. In the wrong way. Oh, I've seen this before. You're going to drop him down face first off oh, that top my rope. Goodness. Oh, reverse nice. Reverse neck breaker off the top rope. One, two, and that did That's it. it. That's it. He, that that he, reverse he, neck breaker was just too much for him. Scalari played too much to the audience. That's yep. what he did. He didn't pay attention, and he should have been paying attention to his opponent. Oh, yeah. Justin Carino continuing on his winning ways here at NWA oh, yeah. on fire. Him and Chris Steele make a heck of a tag team, too. Don't they? They sure do. Such a well-oiled machine. Well, Frank Scalari lives to fight another day. Maybe you'll get a new book next time. He puts up a fight, I tell you that. Frank, you get in the ring with Frank Scalari, you've got your hands full. Up next, fans, you're going to see Chris Steeler versus Black Thunder. If you would like to host an NWA On Fire event at no upfront cost to you, all you have to do is send an email to nwaonfire at aol.com. Once again, that is nwaonfire at aol.com. There we go again, T, and look at the size that man in the ring. That's Black Thunder out of Puerto Rico. This guy is one mean. Machine. He's been absent from NWA on fire for a while, but uh, he's recently rejoined the ranks here. Yeah, look at the size of this guy. Oh, boy. He's got his work cut out for him, though, as the other half of the Dream Team, Chris Steeler. Oh, yeah, Chris Steeler. Well, Chris Steeler's given up a lot of weight and a lot of height, but Chris Steeler, you know, he knows what he's doing, and he's got that ring smart, and he's familiar. He's been against opponents like this before. Or as he's known in the... Locker room, Chris the Show Stealer. Yeah, Chris the Show Stealer is right. And if you don't believe us, fan, just stick around. You'll see what we mean. Exactly. Black Thunder is. He's definitely giving up uh, a bit of weight to Black Thunder. Yeah, I'd say about before. 70 pounds. Maybe a little more than that. He's giving up just a little bit of height. Yeah, I'd say about six or seven inches. But Chris Stealer is so much quicker, though. And if you don't believe me, fans, again, stick around. Yeah. Look at Black Thunder. He said, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. He's been away a while, uh, Black Thunder. Yes, he has. But he works, he works all the islands, you know. He goes to uh, NWA on, on fire when we go to all the different islands, Puerto Rico, the Bahamas, all these different islands. That's Can great. I come next time to the Bahamas with you? Yeah. Good. Sure. No, last time you wouldn't let me. I want to I come to the Bahamas. Yeah, next well, time. I need somebody to carry my bags into the hotel. Excuse you? Excuse, Excuse you? Excuse you? Excuse you? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm making sure I heard you right. Carry, carry your bag? Why not? You I don't think so. You wouldn't help a senior citizen? Oh, I'm going to leave that one alone. All right. I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm not going there. Because I like you too much. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at Frenchy checking everybody out. Black and Thunder just lumbering along. He's ready to go. Black Thunder now wants the crowd to give him a give him a clap. You're not going to get that. That that's not going to happen, Mr. Thunder. Chris Steele though getting a hand from the fans here. He's definitely the crowd favorite. Black Thunder looks a little uh, miffed. He wants to try it again. Why? I have no <laughs> idea. You know, I could never figure this out, never. In all my years of wrestling, I could never figure this out. And then he says, all right, Chris, you try it. And there he is, Chris getting the big hand from the audience. Like Thunder just wondering, how come they're not clapping for me? Well, try to figure that one out, my boy. <laughs> now look, the referee's getting a chance at that. And he's getting a and he's getting a, he's getting a bigger cheer than Black Thunder Absolutely. got. Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Frenchy gets an ovation here this week at NWA on fire. 
Oh, like thunder that. now. Oh, what a big shot. Close Off the fist. rope comes Steeler. Nice shoulder tackle, though. Chris Steeler gets, gets Black Thunder down. No, he stopped him, bringing him over. Chris Steeler arm drags him wow. over. Nicely done. I am impressed. And another, another arm one. drag. Wrenching that arm now. Black Thunder wondering what just happened there. How'd this happen? A minute ago, I was getting booed from the crowd. Now I'm there. Uh-huh. Chris Steeler now dragging Black Thunder to the middle of the ring. Oh, Black Thunder now pushing him into the corner with the turnbuckles. And out of the corner, he whips Chris Steeler. Nobody oh, home. he Nobody stepped aside. Home. Up and over goes Black Thunder. Chris Steeler's working his way up. Look at this. Another one. And back to where he left him before. Go, he goes back to what he knows best. I know. Great way to weaken a uh, body part, though. Boy, you think these kids sitting out there, do you think they enjoy NWA on fire? Absolutely. Boy, That's why they oh always boy. come to the shows. We love every one of them. Chris Steele now playing to the crowd and saying, you want me to wrench it a little bit more? He called the referee over. Look, he's... He, look, look. Oh! Oh, did you see? He worked. distracted the referee. It worked. And he just gave him a big gouge to that eye. Scoop Out goes Chris Steeler. Slams big him down. Body slam. Look at the look at this. Black Off Thunder. the rope. No, he missed. No body home again. And now outside the ring goes Black Thunder thinking it's safer outside than inside. Well, I can't really blame him for that. Uh-huh. Well, but Chris Steeler's having none of it though. Yeah, but it, <laughs> Black Thunder scoots right back in again. He catches Chris Steeler coming in under that bottom rope. Smart move. Slow the pace of the match down also, if you noticed. Uh-huh. Black Thunder is not one of these guys. He catches can wrestlers, jump off the top rope, everything. No. Lincoln, you'll miss it. He is just one big guy. He lumbers around that ring. You know, if you don't like it, he'll slow it down. He'll slow the pace of the match down to his pace. Well, most of these, most of these uh, wrestlers from Puerto Rico, they're all street fighters. You notice yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. And that's exactly the way... Black Thunder's working it. Yeah. He's a street fighter. He's still in now looking the worst for wear here. Oh, just kicks the, one of the legs out from Black Thunder, trying to take his leg out. Oh. And then a gouge to the eye. Just him again in the eyes. Puts a quick Referee's stop to that. Him. Referee's telling him, don't do that again. Chris Thunder swinging wildly. He's been blinded. And now Black Thunder just taking shots. As you mentioned before, Tommy... Uh, that uh, Street Fighter regimen is just take is just. Uh, there you go. Thunder. That's that's how they work it, T. You get in the ring with one of these Puerto Rican wrestlers. I tell you, especially one that size of this guy, you got your hands full. Still not trying to get something going on here. Yeah, still was trying to get a little adrenaline going, but I don't know. Oh, he headbutts him in the gut. Ooh, a big uppercut caught right under the chin. But no, no, Black Thunder. Oh, look oh, at reversal. This. Into the corner goes Black Thunder. And Chris Steeler in there. Up and over goes Chris Steeler. And off the top rope. Yes. Oh, Catch him. Big splash. One, two, and oh, he got oh, him. He boy, got oh, him. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm stunned. Chris Steeler with a somewhat quick win over Black Thunder. Thunder this week. Absolutely. I tell you, Black Thunder is stunned. He can't believe what happened. Yeah, that coming off that top rope with all his weight. That's what did it. Well, it's another win in the column for Mr. Chris Steeler. One half of the green team. Wrestling fans, you want some good music? Then you want KGEL. How do you get the good music from KGEL? You visit their website or nwaonfire.com. There we are, and there he is. Julian Starr, one of the brightest stars with NWA on fire team. No pun intended, right? No pun intended, I tell you. Uh, the minute he came to NWA on fire, the fans took to him like flies to honey. I mean, it's unbelievable. He's got a lot of charisma and a lot of ring smarts, too. He, he knows what he's doing in that ring. Yeah, I've been really impressed with him. The first time I saw him was at the beginning of the year of 2010. 
and he has just been blazing a trail for himself this Absolutely. entire year, hasn't he? Absolutely. As much of a trail that he's been blazing for himself, though, Tommy Savoldi, he has got himself one formidable opponent tonight. Oh, yeah, he sure does. And there's the ring announcer, the voice of professional wrestling in the ring, the con man himself. Here he is, Brian Fury. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what. He got a heck of an opponent here, because this Brian Fury, ha! He doesn't fool around. He does not fool around. Look at the face on this. This guy's a, an evil-looking guy, I'll tell you. He just looks down with disdain, doesn't he? Absolutely. Absolutely. But that shows me. It shows the confidence he had. The guy's got confidence. He knows what he can do. He doesn't come out here running around, slapping hands, you know, getting the place all fired up. He just walks around that ring very solemnly. Uh -huh. This ought to be a heck of a match. You know that. These are pretty well equally, equally matched up opponents. And this ought to be a heck of a match. In the ring now is Mr. Brian Fury. Still looking down at just the people in the audience. You don't want that stare coming down on you. No, you don't. That is one, one deadly stare. It's like a cold wind that hits you when he looks at you. Yeah. You don't want to say anything. You just no, look. You know, I'm, it's like you're like a deer in the headlights. Exactly. You know? I tried to talk to him one time in the dressing room. How'd that go? That didn't go well at all. <laughs> Did he say anything? No, nah, not a word. He stared at me. I said, okay, brother. And that's the end of that later. interview. <laughs> he gave you that stare, didn't he, Tommy? Oh, boy. He just, uh, he's the most unsocial guy I've ever met in my life. <laughs> He definitely lives up to his name with that word fury. Uh huh, he does. And his opponent, he hails from April, Massachusetts, and weighs in at 200 pounds. Give it up, shooting star! Or he likes to call himself the shooting star. Uh huh. So we got the shooting star versus the fury. Yep, it's sort of be something else, folks. Well, the introductions are done. Both combatants look ready. And Frenchie is in that. There he is, Frenchie Le Pew. NWA on fire, senior referee. He's checking over Brian Fury for any kind of illegal objects. Not that Mr. Fury would, would bring those into the ring. Ha ha. There's the bell. Circling each other right now a little slowly. Brian Fury is so methodical. He's not a big guy. No, he's like, not. You know, like Black Thunder or some of those right, other guys. Right. They just lumber around those rings. He's no Apollo, that's no, for sure. No, but he's so methodical with what he, what he does, though. Into the corner very aggressively now. Brian Fury, I think he's trying to get one up on uh, Mr. Julian Starr here. You know, these middleweight wrestlers, they're the ones that give you the most action. To be honest. Definitely right, Tommy. I tell you, I love watching middleweights. They, they are the best. Again now, slowly circling each other. Bra Brian Fury definitely wants to keep this at his pace. He does not want this getting too quick because he knows that's what Julian Starr excels at. Right. Exactly. You hit it right on the head, T. Getting that side headlock and cinching that in all the way. Having a solid headlock right now, but Fury backs him into the ropes. Fury hit him coming off that rope, and down goes Julian Starr holding his head. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, oh, that's disgusting. Up and over goes Fury. Star right over the top. Oh, he he's going to drag Fury him over, but no. No, oh, off the oh, top the rope. Oh. Holy mackerel. What Holy a maneuver. Shovely. Did you oh, see that? Oh, Lord. I don't have any, I can't even keep up with all that action. Unbelievable. Either way, it ends up well with Julian Star on top of Brian Fury, and Brian Fury looking like an animal caught in a trap. Absolutely. That was a heck of a move by Star. Wasn't Off it? the top rope he came. Brian Fury thought he had him there for a second, but no, Julian just reversed that on him, and there you see him right now, Julian Star getting that arm bar, pushing down on that shoulder. And Brian Fury trying to get up and trying to do something here. Trying to push him off that head. No, not Julian Star not having any of it. <laughs> 